Hi, and thanks for joining us for this May edition of CPSB TV. I'm Haley. And I'm Lily. Here's what's coming your way in today's show. The school year is winding down, but it's not over yet. We'll have a few reminders that you need to know before the year comes to a close in the graduation state across the district. Plus, we're highlighting two classes that you might want to consider adding to your schedule next year. And a team report that highlight a special project that will go down in history. We'll get to those stories in just a bit, but first, let's get a check on the forecast. CPSB TV's Jacob Jewell has a look at our weather today and looking into the week ahead. Hello, Southwest Louisiana. Let's dive into our seven-day forecast. Today, we'll see an 84-degree high and a 72-degree low. If you do want to go outside, make sure you bring an umbrella with you as we're expecting thunderstorms later in the day. We've gone to the rest of our forecast. We'll see a short break in the rain with Saturday and Sunday bringing partly cloudy and mostly cloudy skies respectively. However, our little break is short-lived as we expect thunderstorms Monday through Thursday, so keep that umbrella handy as you go on about your day. The temperatures throughout the week will be consistently in the mid-80s. Now let's move on to the forecast for the upcoming Atlantic hurricane season. Colorado State University is predicting a near-average hurricane season with 13 named storms. Now just because it isn't a busy season does not mean that it doesn't have the potential to be an intense season, so we best keep our eyes on the tropics. Now hoping I get to see you all again sometime in the future with many more forecasts to come. Back to you at the desk. Thanks Jacob. We do want to give Jacob a special shout out. This week C-SPAN's Robin Newton flew down from Washington DC for our television production awards night. She presented Jacob with a $1,500 check and several additional awards for winning second place out of 1,500 submissions in the C-SPAN student cam competition. Jacob's documentary, The Forgotten Coast, highlights the need for coastal protection in Louisiana and why it matters on a global scale. Congrats to Jacob for the impact this documentary is making and for this win. It's the last day for students in Kakushu Parish today. Make sure you have your district issues laptops turn in and all fees are paid. Graduation start on May 18th and run through the 24th. Congratulations to the graduating class of 2023. If you're not a senior, the most important date you need to remember is the end of the nine weeks and the last day of school is May 24th. If you are still considering what classes to schedule next year, take a look at what JROTC offers. It's the U.S. Army Junior Reserve Officers Training Corps. Students who are actively involved have higher school attendance and graduation rates, better discipline, and higher GPAs. The cadets at Washington Marion know that their leaders truly walk the walk and learn to be leaders from the best. The Army connects to JROTC because it teaches discipline, pride, teamwork, and to follow orders to do what you're told and to do it the first time you're told to do it. This battalion contributes to the community through patriotic events where their skills are on display. Another class helping students stand out is nursing class where students can earn their CNAs while still in high school. The program is offered at Washington Marion Magnet High School and Software High School where students have an opportunity to learn how to be a nursing assistant in a hands-on program. I've learned that from nursing you get more hands-on experience with your patients and your residents. And by this nursing program, we've helped many of the residents from at nursing homes, and I've learned that, that I've learned to love what I do in helping them. The students I picked were basically based off of um, dependability, reliability, um, responsibility, good grades, um, good citizens of our school, just great all-around students who are going to strive to be the best they can be within our program. The nursing program is competitive and students are selected based off strong character traits that will lead to their success. Now to an end of the year project that is helping to preserve history in our community. This year marks the 50th anniversary since the last U.S. combat troops left South Vietnam. In an effort to preserve the stories of some of these veterans, our class produced a series of veteran oral history documentaries in partnership with the City of Lake Charles. CPSB TV reporter Stephen Collins show us why this project matters to the veterans and students involved. And here comes a drill instructor. Inside this television production classroom studio at College Street Vocational Center, I mean, this is a veteran person. after veteran shared their stories of serving in the Vietnam War. Well, we never asked but for one thing, that was respect. You know, we had never asked for anything from the public but respect, and that's what we wanted. And we're somewhat getting that now. Our high school class researched the war, 
wrote the questions, conducted the interviews, and then edited each piece as part of the Veterans Oral History Project for the City of Lake Charles and McNeese State University Archives. I barely knew anything about the Vietnam War before we took on this project. This project means that we can finally acknowledge our Vietnam veterans. Students like Lily Abair and Terry Lemon say that the project has made a big impact on them and this part of American history. I personally was able to interview our veteran John DeRosier. It's just very interesting to see his perspective and how he faced things and what he saw, what he did. It was kind of like him connecting the dots for me with him being in the Marines because it's something that I want to pursue and something that I want to go further with in my life when I graduate high school. Vietnam veterans John DeRogier, Al Cochran, and Roger Pete participated in this round of interviews. While they said reliving some of the hardest times was a challenge, they're grateful to have the support of a community to listen to them today. The fact that, that, that everybody that served Vietnam went and did a job that was not particularly popular in, in this country at that time, but our country said, we need you to go represent this country, and if you're going to represent us, you've got to do what you need to do. I think that's the legacy that we carry with us is we did that. These oral histories will be added to an online library with the city of Lake Charles that also includes World War II and Korean War veterans' oral histories from the past projects with Ms. Glazer's TV class. She says this is the most meaningful project for her students. This project is so meaningful for students because they really are preserving history in a direct way for generations to come. They're taking their filming, interviewing, and editing skills and putting it to work in this class in the most meaningful way possible. Reporting for CPSB TV, I'm Stephen Collins. This is the third year for our class to produce veteran oral histories. We've also featured veterans from World War II and the Korean War. That will do it for this edition of CPSB TV and for me and Haley, us signing off for the last time. Thanks for joining us and don't forget to follow us on our social media website. Bye. Bye.